we're all coffee drinkers here. Um, <laughs> I want to um, say something a little personal. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have friends or family say, why do you do this? Like, why do you spend all your time? <laughs> exactly. Why are you out in the cold protesting? Why do you do what you do? Spend all your time trying to fix the government. And my mom, in particular, she asks me about this all the time. How many of you have family and friends who ask you this? <laughs> all right. Well, um, so the answer I had for my mom and uh, some friends was that um, I feel like this isn't just about Citizens United or even money in politics. It's about who owns our government. And I think that's really what's at stake here. I mean, we no longer feel like we are the owners of all this. This is our government right here. And we really do feel like there's an occupation, Wall Street and industries occupying Washington. That's the reality. It's a, it's, it's a political reality and it's a psychological reality. We don't feel like we have a voice, we have a say right now. And that's why we have some of the policies that we have. And so it's, it's, I think it's, it's really, I think we can get, I, I think we can get very distracted by the policies, but really what it comes down to is that we're in a power struggle here. And I think that we have to figure out which are our battles, that's the war. It's a power struggle over who owns the government. And the battle that we have to win is about money and politics. And the, the, the fight we have today with the Supreme Court and Citizens United ruling about not just what a corporation is, but who we are. We are the owners of this government. And so we can't forget yeah. this. And we can't allow our friends and family and our neighbors to forget that they have a responsibility to help occupy this government so that it's not vacated and it's not empty it's so that so that we have people squatting in it we have corporations and lobbyists squatting in it we have to be very actively involved and so i guess that's that's something that i would really love to convey to everyone in this fight and across the country that we have a responsibility to own this government and to stay in and unoccupy it and not not disengage I have heard too many people, unfortunately, talk about how the process is so broken, we might as well not vote and not engage. I just don't think that's an option. I think we have to fight our way back a little bit at a time. We can't not vote. We can't disengage. We can't get so cynical that we say, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to allow it to just fall apart. So I hope you join me in making a very strong statement that we demand that we get corporate money and big money out of our government and that we ask all everyone, we ask everyone to really forcefully engage in the political process and not let up. Thank you.